What's up guys, Recall here and welcome to the part 3 of what's after unlocking T4. Um, if you didn't see part 1 and part 2 then there will be a link in the description and probably a link at the end of this vid. So make sure to check that out. Um, and in this episode we will uh, talk about um, familiars. And uh, in the previous episodes, we did a general overview and um, what researchers to focus on. So, uh, we won't be talking about um, pay-to-play familiars because um, that's, um, that's a different topic. But um, we will be talking about the familiars that are available um, freely from, um, from the Mystic Spires. But first... Let's uh, go through the, um, the how to set up. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to have a good familiar set. Um, the accessories are free to play, so you can get those to gold almost immediately uh, if you didn't already. And the rest are kind of, you can get this what I got with, uh, without buying any packs. So these were all from hunting monsters. Um, okay, so now that we got that out of the way, um, let's talk about how to set up your buildings for familiars. So what I did was at first I only had um, like uh, two, no sorry, for pact one and pact two, I only had uh, three spires. So I had three spires and for pact three and four, I had two spires. And um, at that point, I only had one gems, one gem. And uh, the rest were all um, springs, which I can't show you at the moment because I don't have any springs. I don't need any springs uh, because I already got most of my uh, runes. So um, I'm currently focusing on um, leveling, leveling up my familiars. So I'm switching to all gyms at the moment, as you can see. Um, I still have one um, one spire, so I can still build some packs to get um, runes and um, um, metals. What are those called? Just a sec. Let me just check. <laughs> so I can get uh, fragments and runes. And um, yeah, so when... Why is it important to focus on familiars? That's a question that you would be asking yourself or asking, hey, Reiko, why is it important to focus on familiars? Um, so once you did the research tree of the, uh, the familiar research tree and you unlock pact four, um, you will have access to all the familiars. Now, if you go to your uh, spire and go to your pact, uh, you can Click on the magnifying glass at each uh, type, for example, for example, Pact 1A. If you click on this, you can see all the familiars from uh, that you can get from this pact. And um, in this case, in Pact 1A, the one that it's worth um, getting to max is the Territe, because this guy gives you um, merging speed, which, um, which is something you would need. And it also gives you um, a skill that, uh, that will give you between 5 to 30 fragments uh, each day once it's maxed out. So, um, so basically you would get free fragments. What can you do with fragments? Um, you can level your familiars. Um, let me just quickly show you. Uh, let me switch to, um, to my familiar set. And... Um, Let's go to the monster hold and I'm currently focusing on hoarder and um, basically you can use either fragments or you can use runes to upgrade your familiar skills. So let's just quickly do one and another one. Okay, that's what I usually do each day. Um, oh, I can upgrade that too. Great. <laughs> um, but later on. Yes, yeah, so... Um, that's why you need fragments to upgrade your skills and you can also upgrade the level of the familiar but I wouldn't suggest doing that because uh, 
that's just a lot of wasted fragments which you can use for skills. Um, okay, so back to uh, to the familiars. Uh, packed two, uh, I mean packed one B familiars. So you you got this list. Um, there's the Aquarius familiar, and this one gives you stamina. So once it's maxed out, uh, level 60, and the skill is maxed out, you get uh, 60 between 60 and 120 stamina each day. So you're looking at, um, I mean, sorry, every 12 hours. So you can use this uh, two times a day. So you get a minimum of a brave heart each day by, by getting this familiar up to max. And if you already have all of your uh, free-to-play heroes maxed, like I do, um, yeah, so all my free-to-play uh, uh, heroes are maxed, what I usually do is I just go um, to the hero stages and uh, click on this one, because I only use 6 stamina and get a 10-minute speed up. So, um, as you can see, I just got 11 uh, 10 minute speed ups, so that's almost two hours of speed ups, free speed ups. So you can use that, why not? Right, free speed ups once you got all, all your uh, heroes maxed out. Um, from pack 2A, I, I like to use well, almost all familiars are good from here because, um, for example, this skill, um, this will, um, instantly complete a transmutation so if you like to do dark nests then um, if you have a longer um, essence that's going on you can just click on this and it will finish and uh, that's good to have um, I would kind of not advise you to use this familiar at this point because it won't give you a lot of um, a lot of boosts um, this one is also nice because it gives you, um, it, it refreshes the cargo ship immediately. So, uh, you can use this uh, one time a day once it's maxed out and, you know, you can get a lot of, uh, speed ups in the cargo ship. Uh, evil wheelie. This one is kind of good. So, uh, I usually use this to heal my troops. So if I go into darkness, uh, this gives me, uh, four hours worth of resources that I produce. So um, it gives me around a million and some change of food and the other RSS. And I just click on use and um, heal the troops that I got in my uh, infirmary. So uh, that's, that's like saving, that's, that's me like saving my uh, food packs so I don't have to open them, right? And um, the first one, is where you get free troops. So if you like having T1 troops, um, I get in every three days, 20K random tier one troops. So um, yeah, that's me saving a lot of um, a lot of resources, speed ups, time, you know, the usual stuff. And packed 2B is uh, also a good pack because um, you get the Pyrus, which uh, which is actually an attack skill, and um, you can use this to see if if a player has any troops, for example, or um, yeah. So those are tricks that you will learn along the way. Uh, and I'm mostly looking at um, support skills, so I'm not looking at passive skills that are always active. Uh, this one is. Um, at level ma at a level sixty and max skill, it will um, fill out your um, help bar for constructions. So if you're doing a longer construction, that um, this will um, maybe you're doing a hell event, a watcher hell event, building one, and um, this this comes in handy. Um, Krabby um, won't be of any use. Uh, you you might use it for um, for ore production if you're an ore hyper, but um. Currently, uh, you will all already be level 60 by the time you get this to max, so you won't be using that. Now, this is a good familiar because um, Bonehead, because this guy gives you 10 Colosseum entries every one day once it's maxed out. So basically, that's um, how many? Almost 500 gems or more 
ish. Um, and uh, you can go further go down in the Colosseum or uh, make sure to always get back to the spot you were at. So um, that's that's again free gems. Um, Harpy is kind of good. Uh, I didn't really uh, focus on on uh, this one because uh, it's VIP points, of course. With level fifteen VIP, you can get a lot of good stuff. But um, that wasn't my priority. And and now we're getting to the more important stuff, like pack three, because um, Griffin. So this guy gives you a skill that uh, recalls all troops within six seconds. So um, I've seen a lot of successful traps using this skill and it's a burner so um, it's a good one plus it gives you training speed and uh, max allied army size so focus on that one. This guy gives you um, complete gathering for five random gathering armies. Uh, of course this doesn't apply to um, to um, to Guildfest or um, KVK points, but um, you can use this if you need um, an instant heal. So, uh, or if you sent out uh, five armies and you instantly complete it, and all your armies come back and someone wants to attack you, then they they they're just dead. So <laughs> you get it. Gemming Gremlin, Gemming Gremlin. <laughs> Sorry. This one is a nice familiar to have because uh, this gives you between 1 and 2k gems every 2 day and um, that's a lot of gems guys. So let's take the lowest amount so that's 15k gems each month. And um, Goblin now that's another good familiar. I, I also have this maxed out. So I, got, I get between 6 and 12 million gold every 1 day. So... I don't need to hyper gold with my alt anymore because this familiar um, is enough to have. Uh, Trickster. Now another good familiar because this guy gives you holy stars. So every two days you get uh, three random holy stars. And that's 100, 1k and 10k holy stars. And I got the 10k holy stars quite a few times. Plus it gives you 10% um, familiar, 10% uh, ranged attack and um, 5% research speed once it's maxed out, so that's a good familiar to have. This guy uh, is useful, especially if uh, you like to do hell events, research hell events, because uh, this skill fills the help bar immediately. So uh, I would always uh, suggest for, uh, using it on your longest research. And Mole Shaman is another good familiar to have, because uh, this gives you... Um, more infirmary space and um, inf infantry attack. So um, focus on that one. A lot of traps don't actually um, realize how important how important the familiars are, and that they don't actually get a lot of um, a lot of might from doing the researches and um, and um, having the familiars. So. If I was a big trap, then I would be that I would 100% be focusing on these ones. So currently, I'm doing the hoarder because um, this guy gives me will give me three random jewels every uh, three days, and um, I've had guildmates who got gold jewels, gold attack jewels from this familiar. So that's great. Uh, I don't care about the merging speed. But I do care about the max deposit, and um, it's almost max as you can, as you just saw. Another good, uh, from, so these are all good familiars because, for example, Snow Beast um, increases your uh, supply um, capacity. So I kind of got shocked when someone sent me 60 million food uh, from one. Uh, from one shot and I was like how did you do that and he said well you know there's a familiar that can help you with that <laughs> plus it gives you range defense and um, you don't really care about the darkness uh, travel speed so that's not that important but a uh, saber fang for example this guy gives you a lot of monster hunting boosts uh, monster hunting travel speed 25% at max and um, cavalry defense and additional hunts in a row so you might want that if you hunt a lot of level 5s. 
the maggot. Um, this guy reduces the army resource production with a ninety percent. So you can uh, throw that on on the enemies, and they might not like it. Plus infantry defense and uh, barracks capacity. That's another good thing to have. Uh, Held Rider. Now this is a good familiar to have because this guy gives you free tier four troops if you're T four. So uh, the highest troop available, and it gives you a random. 15k troops every three days so uh, I will definitely be fo be focusing on that uh, Tidal Titan not a good familiar to have because um, uh, relocates an enemy turf after a successful attack so that just pisses off people right and army defense and infantry H max HP so those are good stuff to have now the Grim Reaper so this guy was feared once it came out and uh, because it kill, it kills 20 to 50 troops in an enemy barracks will not exceed blah 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 you know so uh, but it costs a lot to to actually shoot an attack some people do use it and the mecha again a good familiar to have because increases max coalition army size so um, that's good to use uh, plus it gives you uh, army defense uh, battle fury and uh, Cav HP. So um, you get my point, guys. Um, let me just show you my current um, skills that I can use. So uh, I do got quite a few. I got a. I get free troops. I get free stamina. I get free uh, cargo ship refresh. Alessio entries. Um, what's that? Essence uh, transmutation. Uh, VIP points. Phil's help bar. Um, Holy Stars, Jewels, uh, Fragments, Gold, Resources, and Gems. So at this point, guys, if you didn't work on Familiars, then I would suggest you do, because it's a big advantage to have, and with these advantages, you can just, let's jump back to the researches, you can just easily, well, it will be a lot more easier to build troops, to uh, work on your uh, research, other research trees like upgrade military, army leadership and military command or anything else that you fancy basically. So uh, work on your familiars guys because it's worth it. Hope this helps you and recall over and out.